What's good, YouTube and Twitch? I'm joined by the Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh! Did I say that right? <laughs> yeah, man. Nail on the head. All right, with M. Cole 40, and we've got Blair, the MILF Hunter, against what appears to be another Texas Duelist that I didn't even know was a Texas Duelist, Logan Kaplan. You need to start paying attention to your Texans. I pay attention to my Texans. What does a Texas Texans? Duelist actually mean? Like, what does that mean? They're from well, Texas. Do you, do you understand states? Yeah, but, like... What does that really mean? Like, well, all you know, this guy's credits were Texan that he had in his profile. It's like showing okay. support for your state, Ned. Oh, okay. yeah, he you is guys. from Spicewood, Texas. I didn't realize America had like state sort of yeah state pride. Yeah, yeah, we kind of do believe it or not. Like, yeah, like, and different states have different tax rules and stuff. Like, that. Texas has no state tax, where like a lot of other states have state tax. And you have sales tax? Like, what is the... Yeah, we have sales tax. It's, it's 8.025, which is a little higher than South. <laughs> Ours is 7%. Get out of here. Yeah, but that's not much. Like, there's some that are 6 that would laugh at you. Uh, what if you're from, true. like, Idaho or something, though? Uh, potatoes. I mean, I, I am okay. the hoe. Oh, just... just yeah, but, like, if you're from Idaho, like, what are... What oh, exactly they're saying this is a rematch from the 1K at uh, the ARG. Really? Yeah. Huh. See, John, this was a good pick for a feature. Hey. We got Tin Can from Blair. Fucking, he's doing this shit again. Cosmers. That's oh, so only one set, though. I mean, you want to talk about AIDS, you just lost a flying C. <laughs> I I'd, rather, I'd rather lose a flying C than Cosmos, so I'm okay with that. Uh. It's okay. I, I still respect you, Netarani Macaroni. Got a whore runner, and a clit rider, and a duck fighter. Duck fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Quack. <laughs> Yo, and just imagine the little duck fighter in the bathtub. <laughs> Hashtag duck fighter chat. Looks like he's Get getting some duck fighter. supported for the duck fighter. Is he getting duck fighter? Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Quack. Yes. Duck draw, fuck. draw phase duck fighter. I almost, phase said, I almost said duck fucker, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just did, anyways. I know. Projecting. Why? He's not going to tag out here and get a free token? Nope. Oh, man. He no duck have, tokens for him. He might have better things. Bigger and better. It's better than a duck fighter. Oh, uh, there's a Rubik. Mm. We've got not a mirror match. Oh, I was hoping it's going to be on attack mode for the hundreds. <laughs> So he's gonna. He make a Dante, and then that will get Dart destroyed, and then he'll make another Dante, and that will get striked, and then somehow he'll try and make another Dante. <laughs> and, I, I mean, he's not making three Dante. <laughs> Duck token lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> Duck lives matter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dolan, please. Ooh, tagging out. Maxi. Mm. Oh. Oh, you can't see me? Oh, uh, that dang destroyer is pretty good. Did he's he gonna special have the Sir? For the Seer? Yeah, oh, no, no targets, okay. Pretty sure he normaled it. E. So, this is good for him because it means Seer is gonna have no floaty floaty. The only one who's gonna be floating in this game is gonna be Duck Fire. And there's the Solemn, of course. Of course. Now he can get the Seer back and special it, though. The Dante or Skarm. Uh, the Dante? <laughs> <laughs> so just checking, just checking. You know. JK, JK. So he didn't he didn't resolve Seer in case he needed it here. Well, he's not going to special it. Oh. No, he can resolve Seer. That was already in the graveyard. I hit the graveyard from Dark Destroyer. Yeah, but yeah. it was normal summoned and never used effect, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. he could have specialed it in defense. Oh, that's true. These commentators, though, Dante can't be summoned. Oh, thanks. Thanks for listening to the commentary while playing. Well, I'm not saying to summon the Dante with the Seer. I'm saying get it, use it to float. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just focus on your match contours, okay? Just, uh, we know what we're talking about. We've got SJC, multiple time topper, winner, Jonathan Moore here. And, <laughs> and there's yeah. a farm girl, <laughs> which is why I would have said to have the Seer out. But maybe he has a, yeah. what's it called? The Karma Cup. Maybe if you did listen to the stream chat properly, Contaz, you would be losing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only messing with you, man. Hashtag, uh, it's just a prank, bro. Uh, prank rules. 
Frog rules. Frog rules. <laughs> flip, flip mirror forge, please. This is the worst situation ever because, like, he attacks for 15, he takes the 15, and he takes another 15 from the strike. Oh, breakthrough. Okay, that's 2014. That's okay. awesome. Uh, Robbie, what's your thoughts on gadgets? I love gadgets. Oh, red, <laughs> red, red searches yellow, yellow searches green, gold and silver molest each other. <laughs> I mean, gold and silver are like the retarded brothers that touch each other. Like, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Robbie. What? Like, what is those, with you right now? You don't understand. Like, if you look at them, they're like, we, we've been gone for so long, fam. We're, we're here. Like, <laughs> we are really out here. <laughs> like, I thought. I, <laughs> <laughs> We're like, out here. We're really out here. <laughs> like, I thought yellow was the retard gadget, but like, no, it's just silver and gold. I don't understand. Like, what's the big deal with the gadget hype, Robbie? Is it just like your signature deck or something? I mean, could you have like once upon a upon deck? time, Jonathan Moore played six samurai and reigned from the ashes. Uh, that's probably not a good analogy. No, it's... It, he, it is, he topped like 20 regionals with gadgets. 20 regionals and two... Uh, one SJC and one YCS. Yes. Oh, okay, so you're not that bad at the game, apparently. Yeah, Playing but it was all with gadget, 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 gadget. Is it really... Was it even hard to play? Eh. I mean, some formats, yeah. Yeah, some <laughs> formats were. Like, I, you, you had to make meta calls. Like, nobody caught on to Triple Solemn for a while after even when I won. Like, it took a few jumps. I, I topped the first just to see that Gores was legal with uh, two Doom Cows and Gores, so... Like, basically, think of it this way, Nuttier. Information sharing was a lot less. So, like, you had to, like, out team out phase and team overdose. That's why they were so big. They would sit in a circle and innovate and then innovate the answers to the innovations before anybody else. So, like, information sharing was a lot less. So, like, you know how Hoban, like, sometimes does that with Solemn Strike. But, like, it still gets out further a lot sooner before the YCS. Like, you had a lot tighter circles with a lot different innovations that, uh, like, you didn't see coming as much, so, like, it was a lot more about deck building than actual play. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I started yu gi tubing actually, was just to, like, share information and stuff like that, honestly. Back like, in the DGZ days, I yeah, guess. Like, yeah, like, yeah. now now people like to give out their deck list and, you know, get that, you know, token of credit. Back then, most people would have been like, I'm not giving you my deck list, that's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, Karma Cut, wow, this guy is actually in 2015. <laughs> Discard strike. Okay. Well, Joey Lynch was playing Karma Cut in his, but. Uh, oh, yeah. wow. The mirror match? Yeah, yeah, it's really good in the mirror. Well, on the first Dante, usually. It's pretty trash against chips, though. And there's an allure. So he oh, has a dark well, well, hope, Hopefully, he doesn't discard his whole hand this time. Allure to two. Oh, what the hell? Duckfire, how the. What? Wasn't paying attention to our precious Duckfire is gone. Hashtag Duck Lives Matter chat. Yeah, the What's Karma the Cut. <laughs> Ducks Lost get cut. Duck, duck cut, yo. <laughs> duck dinner. Oh god, that's so funny. Duck lives matter. Yeah, I don't know how he's gonna be getting around the uh, dart destroyer. Oh. Uh, oh wow. Yep. And there's the scoop phase. He's scoop. gonna have to side out all those purple cards. <laughs> Put Is that in them, all uh, game one? Out. Yeah, that was game one. Jesus. We gotta cite out all those bad cards. Do you guys think that system down is just like the most absurd card like ever? Like because it's not been relevant at certain points, but when it does become relevant, it's absolutely. I mean, it's insane. it's, kind, it's, it's kind better of, than Raigeki. It's like, kind of like Maxi and Baylor. They take times rotating. I I wouldn't say they like break matches on their own. But like if you resolve a system down, it's like. It banishes the graveyard, so they call the haunt is dead. It banishes the field. It well, doesn't target. Start, it's like it banishes, playing, so it doesn't destroy. It's it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. Like, start playing Oasis of Dragon Soul. Oh right, bring back my worm, haha. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it turns your ship into a worm, like. <laughs> okay, yeah, Cosmo Zing. Oh, Let's Jay go, Campbell's boys. also saying in the chat, Karma hits Luster in the Pendulum matchup and pretty much wins the game on its own. I mean, no. Pendulum matchup, really? Like, do you care? <laughs> I mean, it's a deck again. Yeah, the, like, it got two spots at, like, a 300-person regional here in the top eight. The deck's okay. I've been playing it in real life for a bit. It's, Burning Abyss is, like, the only matchup that's kind of, like, doable. Like, everything else just is, it's, it's, like, so hard. I mean, Monarchs are Monarchs. I mean, Duck Lives Matter. Duck Lives Matter. 
Duck lands matter. I would say the average hand for it is still better than the average hand for Cosmo. Of pendulums? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, pendulums. Oh, okay. Especially if you open up that guitar with lizard draw combo. Oh, yeah, your triple turtle goo. <laughs> 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 I, I watched on stream when you drew all three, by the way. <laughs> I was there. Hey, it's funny, that hand is still playable if I had a rising target. That's the funny thing. And see, now, okay. now for Commando Ocho here. Come on, uh, uh, why can't I pronounce it? Commando Commando Ocho. Yeah, it's supposed to be Commander, is this, but he is fucked this Blair up. Is Blair playing? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's Blair. Blair. Okay. So oh, the card, get, the card guys become anime tournament will be soon. So what is the deal with his picture? I'm confused. He, he face swapped one day, that is all. He just felt like it. Is that someone famous, that American I should know, or? No, I don't I think it's probably someone he knows. Ouch. Salty. I would be salty too. Ow. Warning. Oh, the real traps too. Jesus Christ. Two one ups gone. How's it feel? No, oh, he's but a, a pass. Half. Jesus, what is his hand? We're really out here now for. Uh... He must have like all ships because he discarded four rudder. Like, this must just be like. Yeah, like. Four ships, how is that possible? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Monarchs complain about breaking, but I see this all the time from Cosmo, too. Oh yeah, people just have this Venta against Monarchs. Like, the deck doesn't break anywhere near as much as people think. So no real mill. Uh, we're likely gonna see Graf... Get a... Seer, or a, Oh, sorry, Graf. There's already a Seer. Oh, and there's the Maxi, too. Get the Scar, get the one-for-one. One. Attack! Oh, should have a play next turn. Okay, the reason I think people think Monarchs brick so much is because of the fact that Cosmos actually brick just as much. But because Monarchs never played real traps, that it gave the illusion that Cosmo were a little more consistent because they were able to grind through a few games with yeah. their traps until they drew into hand, whereas Monarchs can't grind through a brick hand. Like, you just have to, like, I don't know, like, set on a Prime or something, even if you do get access to Prime. And there's no monster. What is he doing? Oh my god, he's setting again. I feel so bad for Blair right now. Like, what is I didn't see what trap got set. So he's had Max E4 runner, Twin Twister. What can I get you, fam? Give me that pay 900 look. Say no more, Barbar. Jesus. It pretty much has to be a call to Honda based on. If it's called Honda, he's in a good position. Yeah. He's got four under there, but... You overlay, you do more damage here. 25, 35, 43. Um, he could. Yep, he's gonna do that. And then it means he can go into F0 and main phase 2 if he needs to. Yeah, load it. Ooh, the mill. Craft Seer. <laughs> That's... That's with that's the money. He already seared earlier though. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, I believe so. Because <laughs> uh, he targeted Graf and Ray, right? There's such a love hate relationship with the uh, Burning Abyss. Like, you you when you when you like are under Max E or something like that, like you you always mill like Graf's here. Then when you're like going for game or you need to hit like like one Burning Abyss monster that's relevant, it's like nah, it's just not happening. We'll mill our uh, we'll trap our traps or something instead. I see. And it is a call of the haunted. Yep. And there's a maxi. Oh gosh. Maximum Cox. You really do Cox. that for just one? Me as well. I Why mean, not? If he has another one, it makes sense. Much. Kind of. He's got a ram. Ooh. Limiter removal. For fiends. Warriors, rather. <laughs> Why, is he, Why is he ramming? He can just like make F0. Uh. Okay, so he's gonna. All right, so he, I guess he wants to spin his call of the haunted. Yeah. Oh, and force the special. Yeah. Yeah. Take your three hundred. Yeah. Later, Seattle. Let's go back. Who won game one? Blair won that game one with the with yeah. the with the helmet strapped on tight. Super tight. Okay, he's going for Beatrice. Oh, I made a fr I made something today, and it was like phrases you only hear, for, like you learned it because of Yu-Gi-Oh, and like uh, helmet was one of them. Oh, okay, Kaiju, that makes sense. 
Well, if you contribute for a slip rider. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, Call the Hunter should be gone, right? And that target's destroyed. Oh, Kyle, destroyed. Okay. Kyle's saying he taught Blair everything he knows. You taught him how to leave, maybe. <laughs> I taught him everything. I taught him how to sell on a big ship. How Yo, to sit on a big ship. Natty Ear, when you had when you summoned Gamma Seal, that was sick during your duel, and I just held up the DVD of Gamera, because that's what Gamma Seal is based off of. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> the guy was like, you know, I, I don't expect him to like, you know, actually use Beatrice in standby, that'd be silly. Yeah, but you like gave him a chance to. And you even said what <laughs> yeah, was coming. I knew it wasn't good to, like that would be just silly if you actually did do it. Kaiju's are good man, they're sick. Were you yeah, playing the gold kaiju engine? Um, it's literally just card for card Bodan's deck that he won a regional with last week or something like that. I just okay. copied it. I haven't had time to like think for myself and be a good person this past week, so. You have feelings? What? <laughs> Fucking robot in here. <laughs> Where have you been? Were you AFK? No, I've, I've been here just enjoying. Scratching your nuts. A little bit. <laughs> Not much to commentate. I mean, there's just a Gamma Seal on the field and the Beatrice. Like, I mean, if, if he puts that Gamma Seal to the fence, Burning Abyss players start sweating, you <laughs> 3,000 in defense? That's that's a lot of, a lot of life. It might be Pop a little far-fetched. <laughs> far He's been through one, so he needs to have like another one in deck, which he probably does, but you okay. never know. He might have sighted out far, far something against Cosmo. Sadly, I think Blair might be at the end of this game. He's probably thinking, like, do I tribute someone for Slip Rider? <laughs> May as well. Did he really brick that hard? It seemed so. Twin Twister, Maxi, Forerunner, probably a bunch of other ships. Called Haunted, that took an arm and leg to make live. Okay, we've got our pilot. So uh, Pilgrim Dante can't be targeted in the mirror match. That actually like blew my mind. Really? Yeah, Purple Dante can't be targeted. That's crazy. I had no idea. Idea. Oh, I, just, I, never, I never knew that because like every every one I play against isn't retarded enough to Raigeki uh, Beatrice, so it never actually came up for me. Oh look, here comes Gamma Seal. He comes at defense position. Gamma Seal. That's pretty much a wrap if he can't do anything. If he far off us in the next turn, then it should be over, yes. What? Since Kaiju Slumber. Oh. Nah, you're going back to attack, fam. To attack? Wait, what? He's going to remove Kaiju Slumber here. Go get another Kaiju. Tribute the Kaiju, right? Mm -hmm. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that? No, you can only control one Kaiju. So you can't tribute a Kaiju for a Kaiju? Nope, yeah. you already control the kaiju. It's a continuous effect. Mm. Did he just add two kaijus? No, he added no. one. He drew the other and showed he got punished. Oh, okay. The lols. Yep, send Farfa, tap for game with literally anything. <laughs> well, no BA monster. There we go. Uh, that's okay. Yep. Hey, e one one. We always like to take this time to shout out TrollEnto.com. These tournaments are only free thanks to them. Uh, all prizes are in their store credit. No entry. Pretty nice. Then we have bad players that join like Ned here. Oof. Are you X1 People now? Like... I mean, no, I'm X2. Oh, no. uh, he's no. done. He's He got splatted out. I'm out. I'm gone. It's all right. Ned here's top four at one of these premier events. I've came third and top eighted. Yeah. If only you could win. That's like having two major <laughs> event credits. I know, right? The troll, the Zodiac, SJC, YCS, Zodiac. All right, so um, Blair is probably going to want to go first. I think, maybe, potentially. I'd go first if I was Blair because, like, if my opponent opens, like, a strike, he just strikes my pilot and I pass. Unless I have you, Telly. Which uh, is even do, less do, likely or no. Do you take note that this is not an elimination match for Blair, so if he loses, he's still in. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, I'd still want to win, like, regardless. Does uh, his opponent get par pared down or something, or? Um. What's or his, is it? What's they're his both XO, right? 
I believe so. Logan Kaplan. Okay, so... I mean... Yeah, they're both 3 -0. They both have that safety net, but you don't, you know, you don't want it to reach that point. Ideally. Yeah, going five. I've seen people go five zero in our tournaments and then go out. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Sad day, but or they go zero two like me. <laughs> oh, you probably went. Oh my God, the psycho! He went first, second. I mean, why? God damn it. Blair, why'd you go second? Flying C. I mean, oh, jeez. If he has a trap, like, Blair's, like, in so much trouble. I mean, his opponent basically just said, hey, you probably win. Oh, man. The mind games, yo, the mind games. It's game three, you know? I mean, looking at this field, it's not really good. No, but yeah, both of these yeah. monsters are good to have a Beatrice on top of. Yeah, just watch him. He's going to mill rhinos to your graph. It'll be fine. Rhino Seer it, it doesn't even matter. Whatever he pitches, like, uh, he already has the Farfa loaded behind, so it's all just juice. Oh, no. There's a second Farfa <laughs> gone. Yeah, that was pretty ass. All right. There's the Beatrice. So it's still a really good Beatrice to have. Set a trap. Come on. There. There we go. Set a strike. He's he's in the money. That's cool. He's flying. He's good. He's Gucci. He gets Sir, which is telegraphing a discard trap. Ah, uh, no way. I think he kept them in. He must have drawn the other time. Wait, I don't know, actually. That, that makes no sense. Like, why would he not take his discard traps out? I, I would say so, too. But, like, why would he get a Seer? <sighs> um, Sighted out his tour guide by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I have no idea. So, uh, Contaz, if you're listening, you know, please do inspire us and give us some... Uh, some knowledgeable reflection on why the hell you searched a seer. Mmm, Cosmo Town. He's probably gonna be shuffling back. I'm like, and hope to draw a lure and get a free plus. Hope to draw a duck fighter. Yes, we need more ducks. <clears throat> I did side the discard traps out. Okay, he did sign him up. So he searched Seer because... Who really knows? And just shovels his whole hand back. Oh, wait, what? Oops. Blair wanting to reveal his card in attack mode, not defense. I mean, no peasants here. <laughs> Face down, ass up. So he needs he needs to draw an ETL to play around the strike. I would assume it's strike. Effect, strike, last turn. <laughs> well, he would Cosmo Town get it back. Nice. Yeah, but he still has no field and dies next turn. Mm. Okay, so, so he's going to farf out the Wicked Witch to force out the... Tag out. Yeah, I don't see why, though. And send a Slumber to take care of the ship. <laughs> like, if there is a ship. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so he's letting him... Okay. Oh, right, Karma so Cut would be really back. good, but it, uh, it is a discard card. Just I wouldn't have set that. Yeah, I never set my Twin Twisters against Cosmo. Uh, Karma Cut would have actually been live. Who would have thought? <laughs> now, it was Farfoed. Why, why bother to get it back instead of letting it get summoned? Because that's, all, that's a good point. all these back row. It's a very good point. E telling the end phase? Oh, uh, Tin Can. Well, Yay, Tin Can. This, this actually allows him to, uh, you know, get get uh, another Cosmo Town if he wants. He can search other things off of the Tin Can and just banish it if he doesn't want to just get a big ship. He chained the effect to summon the ship. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. That's true, John. You're slipping, John. You're slipping. My bad. Tin can gonna reveal a duck fighter. Come on, Blair. Give us a duck fighter and a dog fighter. Duck lives matter. Give us a duck at duck lives matter. Dark yeah. Dude. Okay, come on. We need a five six, baby. It's been <laughs> five six before. Why do we want 5-6? 
Duck fighter. Duck fighter. Aww. Duck lives matter. Not oh, the hell is this, man? We, we get a forerunner. It's like a shitty forerunner. It's like 2800, can't be targeted. You know, it's not the same. All right, so he can kite you away the forerunner, and then. Let's see. I mean, he really, really messed up on setting that twin twister because it means he'd have no worries right now. He can bounce one with cow cow potentially, but that's it. He has no tour guide, or we think he has. He has no tour guide. You think that, but if he he searched seer instead of tour guide, so turn one he went first. He should have like summoned tour guide if he had tour guide. I can't see any reason why he wouldn't do that, unless he was like, I have no idea, like playing around Max E. Like, is that a thing? Like, would you really do that in game three, turn one, potentially? I don't know, but duck lives matter. They do. Like, you... Uh, it, it seems like this is such an easy out, but... What do you mean? Uh, to break Blair's board, it seems pretty easy. Because you bounce one back, and then you start your kaijus, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, you, ki you kaiju the forerunner, and then, like, slip rider is not really a big deal, because it's a slip rider. He has got two back roll. Anti target far, 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 uh, Siri target Dante, okay. Mm, that lets him make another Beatrice's turn, right? Yeah, you can probably rank up, banish the Slip Rider, Kaiju the Forerunner, and um, attack for 28, <coughs> I think. But one of these could be Cosmojo down. Yep, that is true. Rank up. Strike and Solemns are generally obviously really terrible against Beatrice. Sadly. Because for some reason, Konami thought it would be a funny idea to make it say possession rather than control. Ooh. It's going to strike Farfa, okay. Hmm. You really want his clit rider? Well, I think there has to be a Cosmojo down to want to do that play. That's the only reason I can see that. Yeah. That is true. But then Let's... again, I also cannot see why kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch anymore. No, that's definitely a good question, John. <clears throat> the pictures are back on certain servers, uh, Zephyr, Zyphers. So, uh, Nadir has a video on that, actually. People have been asking me to put one up. I would just do it as a response video to yours since you already have it up. I tell most <laughs> people to just go video. check out yours. You want card images back? Click this link. I will tell you where to get the... Link Cypher if you promise to comment, like, subscribe on my channel. Or if you give him a stick of gum, he may also do it. Stick of gum works also. <laughs> what? Pay Nat Ear and gum, <laughs> 2016. That's what. That's all YouTube pays Nat Ear now is gum. Gum. Are you referring to something? No. I'm way there's too a there's a commercial that there oh, used to be a commercial campaign like I uh, I want to get paid in gum. I want to get paid in gum. Commercial. Oh my god, America. America. You know you guys have like American football which is like designed for commercials? Basically. Like that like sport was designed to have like adverts, like played constantly. <laughs> Billy gets paid in gum. Yeah, <laughs> he does. Every time he tops Jay Campbell owns him a stick of gum. He's not ready for commitment yet. 
Jesus. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're in here watching a live stream, but you're not ready to commit to Nat Ear Aroni's YouTubes. My YouTube sucks, man, anyway. Don't worry. People really like that Demise stun deck that I put up yesterday. Is this some random region? Brazil, yeah, right? it's, it's Brazil, yeah. It was, it was, what uh, is it? Is it, it was just a 4, Demise with lots of traps? Yeah, no, yeah, it's, uh, it's like Christia's and stuff. It's like double Christia, triple Vanity, triple Majesty, and then like a bunch of like trap slash support to keep the two on the field. Brickosaurus mm. Rex the deck. Yeah, I had a lot of bricks, but I won most of my matches playing it. Like, I, I played it on stream, of course low rating means nothing. But like, I can see how it did decent. It definitely has a really good Cosmo matchup. Although, if Cosmo draw Dark Destroyer, they can just pay the 2,000 with Mausoleum and summon. Mm. That's kind of a... It's sometimes a problem. Usually not, though, because, like, it plays a lot of attack modifiers. Like, it plays the, the one Phantom Knight card that would, like, keep it alive if it would die and then adds 800 attack. I see. Yo, do any of you guys watch UFC or anything? Brock Lesnar. I'll take that as a no. Okay, never mind. No, Brock obviously retired a while ago from UFC. I watch once in a while. Hmm. Okay. I don't keep up. Cool story, man. man. Brock Lesnar was a beast of a UFC fighter as well. Yeah, he had that one disease uh, that like basically ended that career for a bit. What is it? Something to do with his ass, right? I, I think. I think. Uh, a urinary track, actually, but I'm not sure. Oh, I thought it was a cool one. Shadol Dragon, what? <laughs> what the fuck? You can send it with Beatrice, maybe he's playing Shadol Fusion. Shadol <laughs> Fusion? Hmm. Hmm. It's so funny if he doesn't have a way to summon it. I mean, he might have to shuffle back part of his hand. I mean, we have a tin can here to get out that other Farfa. And if that is Cosmojo, like, you couldn't react to that. Yeah, well, he's potentially just switched off his Cosmojo. Nope, never mind. A tin can, and then force out the tag so we don't get no uh, effect. The end phase. Doesn't it come back in phase for Farfa or is it end of turn? Comes back in the end end of turn. I think. Until the I'm end not phase. Sure how... It says until the end phase. So it would come back in phase, still get its effect, I believe. Yeah, but it gets Papa's Cosmo time here, which is free value. Ooh, true. How'd the Farfa go to the hand, by the way? The add back with Dante. Oh. Uh... I'm not sure how the ruling is, but like potentially if he lets him farfa his tin can, like does he get the effect? Yeah, he would. It comes back at end phase. You, you as turn player decide like you know when to activate it, so you can re you can make sure it comes back and still get its effect. Like uh -huh. the person with farfa doesn't decide when it comes back; it just has to vanish until end phase. So it has to come back during sometimes the end phase, and end phase is still a phase. So you have the opportunity. You both have to agree to end the end phase like any other phase. I mean, I potentially might have just let him far from my tin can if I was going to get the effect, potentially. Well, yeah. And if Contaz know that, knew that, he potentially probably wouldn't have even used Farfa on the tin can because get the get the effect anyway. Because I'm assuming that's why he did it was to force out uh, the tin can tag. You you definitely still get to try to activate. There's no way you don't. You can't just end the turn after it comes back. Wasn't still... this like a controversy? Like uh, yeah, the to... Yamato. You, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But like it, it got resolved really quick. Like it was it was like it it wasn't what people said it was. Okay. But basically, people were talking back all the way to Valor versus Yamato, where like the turn player could uh, say that like force their opponent's Valor to resolve first, so they could resolve their Yamato. Because like no matter what, you had to have some kind of resolution in the end phase since Valor, Valor, like got used up in the end phase. Doesn't um, Valor say end of turn? It's end of turn now. It's a now, yeah. It got eroded. All oh, right. Yeah. So it did. 
Yeah, so the YCS Billy one, like Curry Bandit dodged Baylor. Huh. Okay. <laughs> so that was pretty big. That is big. I bet it's the same thing as Yamato versus Valor back in the day. But that's why it was uh, even a thing at Houston. It's like, people were talking about, like, okay, if uh, it's the same thing, like, I can force my opponents to resolve first since I have Yamato, because, like, otherwise neither of us would ever agree to, you know, end the end phase, and so somebody has to be a winner there. And so they just made it so, like, back then, you were like, I force your Valor, to, as term player, like, I can force your Valor first and then get to use my Yamato, because I'm, like, I can decide where the chain goes or whatever, and... It was some BS. Like, I, I didn't play during Bujin format, so I can't actually speak on that, but that's what I was being told. Why didn't you play during Bujin format? I, I didn't play one. from, like, 09 till 14. I came back at DUEA during Bujin <laughs> Alliance. How come? Uh, I, break for? I, uh, well, no, I just, I was still in the community. I just, like, bought and sold cards a lot more. I kind of slowed down on that. I mean, did you not, like, play, like, in locals uh, occasionally? No, nah, I, I really did. I'd play every once in a while. Like, I played Watts at the YCS where it was, like, <laughs> uh, Fire Fist and Water and, and Jersey. And, like, I actually got decently far. I was, like, 4-2. But, like, uh... And I was a bounty duelist for that one. But, like, I didn't really play. Like, I literally... I forgot Black Ship Corn, And I lost to Chris Perovic, who topped, actually. Uh, because I forgot Black Ship Corn. Like, I could have beat Chris. And I, you know, I wasn't a player, so I lost because I wasn't a player. Huh. Okay. That's funny. That was a shit format, to be honest. Yeah, but it's just funny that I could play Watts during it and actually do okay. Because, like, it topped a regional, I looked up a profile on YouTube, and that's before I was YouTubing also, and I'm just like, oh, Watts! And I, I was... <laughs> I'll tell you some stuff later that I can't say on stream or anywhere on record. <laughs> okay. Alright, so anyway, we've got a Wicked Witch on the on the, on the the field that um, Contaz is unable to out. So he just passed turn, and now he's gonna... Blair is gonna shuffle up his hand with the Cosmo Town, dig for a Dart Destroyer or something. This is like the grind of grinds. There's no reliable way to get out... get... yeah, to out a Beatrice and Cosmo, is there? Dank Destroyer. I mean, it's not really outing it. I mean, you can just attack over the Pilgrim, can't you? Yeah, but then he gets to draw one, and then he pitches one out your hand. It's like, kind of... Eh. Two Beatrices can also make F-Zero. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Has he used this tour guide yet? Uh, <laughs> I don't fucking know. I believe so, but I'm not sure. Is this still the same game he didn't search to again in the end? I don't remember. <laughs> I think so, actually. Yeah. Can we actually see an extra deck play here? <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's a real waste to overlay <laughs> your Beatrice's into a back row. Like, if that back row is anything, like, oh, that's yeah. such a waste. I mean, it would be funny. It would be funny. Give them that. All right, tagging out the wicked bitch. Four. Two do do do. And a slip rider. <laughs> Hit my we... own Cosmo Town again. Get a Cosmo Joe. Hey, what up, Saint Maddox? Nope, it hasn't, St. Maddox. No one has done anything yet. Just staring at the struggle of Blair Hunter over here. I mean, does he really want to, like get a Cosmojo just to out one Beatrice and then have to deal with yet another Beatrice. It's really random Cosmojo is like once per turn. I only just like came to my like I only just noticed that like recently. We have infinite time. 
We have Infinite Tim, actually. <laughs> Who's Tim? Shout outs to Tim. Tim the real MVP. Shout outs to Tim, because we have all of him. You know something that's funny watching at locals? Those people who will hollow out their goat deck but then complain about like spending two dollars on a common they need for their side deck. <laughs> the goat deck, yo. I should yeah. make one. It looks fun. Yeah, goat control. control. It's something goat control is not fun. You're bad if you think that format is fun. You're bad. Why? I live that format. That format was trash. I played Why? burn during that format. What's wrong? What's wrong with goats? Like you can't brick. Like, you don't get OTK'd. Oh, you can like, brick. Not really, like, you can play out of brick because it takes so fucking long to kill you someone. You play enough that you die so fast. You can die really fast, actually, sometimes, too. I mean, sure, if they, like, BLS you and they all this on silly you. stuff. Oh, arm like, air knight early and you have no traps. Like... Oh, lord, yes! Oh nom, my nom, God. nom, 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 finally! Nom, nom, nom. I mean, it's only gonna suck up one of these. So, but the thing's big as fuck. Oh, and he can attack the other <laughs> negate. Five, seven, nine. Is that two nine? Yeah, it's twenty nine. It's twenty nine. Okay, it so can it's... attack negate. Um. Do you um, catch the Beatrice when you true. negate? It's not in his possession anymore. No, it goes to the graveyard, activates, and then he negates it. Like. I'm talking I'm about sure. what? What material does he pitch off as his own? Or does oh, he pitch the um, Nova in case of field wipes? That would be kind of cool. Yeah, the slip rider, I think, uh, so I would, we can get I would it pitch, graveyard for call. Yeah, no, for call because like if his opponent activates a slumber, he can like he can call the haunted uh, cyber dragon nova if he plays a target for it in his extra, like barbaroid. Um, I guess so. That's a thing. The. I was really uh, mad. Uh, against Gerard in my match that I didn't see XE Universe in any of my matches because I have some funny targets for that thing that stream would have loved. The fuck do you play? <laughs> so I play Diamond for the standard two Di Dantes. Yeah, and then yeah, I play, it's really good. And then I play, um, I play Magnus for two Beatrice, even though it sucks without multiple materials. I just thought it'd be funny. And then just, I've got a rank nine for Beatrice and Dante on the field at the same time. But I didn't see them, so no fun for stream. No fun allowed. There's some ridiculously bad high rank monsters. Like you'd expect, like the the higher rank, you know, the more powerful you, they get. But some of them are just trash. <laughs> we saw them. Normal. We still have a Farfa in uh, Can't Sand over here, Cons. I feel like we can try to trigger... Can he make another Beatrice? Chat question for everyone. Um, what was everyone's favorite format? Return yeah. Dad was my smiley face. Thing in hand, yeah, he can. Also, by the way, Beatrice is if this card in your possession is destroyed or by your opponent's card effect or battle. So you all know. Yeah, so even if you're warning the summon, you still get the effect. Yes, but if you bounce it away or you just detach it off the infinity, it doesn't do anything. Yep. <clears throat> PGU Wait. is in deck. Interesting, interesting indeed. Yeah, but he normaled the the graph, didn't he? Oh uh, yeah. He makes Dante. And then he can go into Beatrice. Yeah, but he three, can um, seven, yep, Beatrice. Saint Maddox uh, donated and asked what's everybody's fo uh, favorite format to play. <laughs> Frog FTK format. <laughs> really? Um I've been playing a lot of plants recently, that's pretty fun. I quite like it. The Billy Break Show. Yeah, personally, like I just I just like playing like in the re in the now, you know, like getting better whenever, yeah. you know. So as much as this format isn't perfect, I mean I still enjoy playing Yu-Gi-Oh, so Billy has two go decks made if you ever come stay at the house in a year. 
Oh yeah, I think Max Ray. Take an American trip not to see a girl, a grill. <laughs> are they uh are they wait, you're from Texas, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have family there. I could stop by one year. Whoa. Well Texas is ten hours across, so both ways. Yeah, that's true. And uh, I think Fort Worth. Oh, that's uh, forty five minutes from me. There you go. Awesome. Cool. All right. So if you ever visit, I get to actually hang out with you. I'll come over some year. I do plan to go to American YCS one day. What's like the biggest American YCS? Like what year? Uh, what time of year usually? Like the summer ones? Like just the like Cali, Houston. Cali ones in general will outweigh everything. I don't know, but can we just take notice of uh, Cyber Dragon Infinity and Beatrice actually crashing? Yeah. So he far fuzz, uh the infinity got like it's forced out for a negate and then it's two five versus two five and he crashes and a beatrice gets the effect and that's how you out an infinity boys and there's probably a strike down which is why he had him declare his chain links you've been calling that strike the entire time i mean <laughs> he he uh he doesn't have anything in his uh uh chain links or blair doesn't have anything so yeah he could potentially respond to one of these, which is like graph, I guess, but that's it. And probably not worth responding to. Yeah, because he just dies if he if he responds with strike right now. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> chain links, Beatrice chain link one. Oh, why'd you do that, man? <laughs> oh look, it's Barbar. -bar. Nobody said Shadows. Clap, clap, clap. That format was okay. Shadol's never want to jump outside of Billy's, I think, did it? Did it win a European one ever? Oh, Blair lost. Uh, I mean, Shadol's won Continentals last year. So it won a, GG. like, a Nationals. Blair lost, oh. rip. And I didn't need the tour guide, fuck the commentators. <laughs> I, just, I, I don't understand, like, why would you not even search the, the tour guide, fuck GG? <laughs> Alright. Well, um, we're gonna wrap that one up here. Any final words? Nope. GG. GG.